Since rings are so important for cryptography, and since they are a bit more complex than groups, let's look at some ring examples. Well, the most basic example of a ring is actually the integers. So, the integers form an abelian group under addition, because they have an identity element, which is just zero, and they also have inverses, because every number is its own inverse, right? 5 minus 5 is 0, which is the identity, so they're all self-inverse. And integers under multiplication is a monoid, because there's a multiplicative identity, which is 1. If I multiply anything by 1, I get the same number. But actually, no number has a multiplicative inverse, except for minus 1 and 1. Because the multiplicative inverse of 5, for example, would be 1 fifth, right? Because you 5 times 1 fifth is 1. However, 1 fifth is not in the integers. It's a rational number, not an integer, so we don't have inverses. Another example that's quite important for cryptography is numbers modulo. So, actually, as we have seen, this is the ring consisting of the set of residual classes, right? So, the underlying set is 0, 1, 2, 3, but these are just residual classes, because, for example, the 2 is not a 2, but is a class of all numbers of the form 2 plus a multiple of 4. So this actually is also an abelian group under addition, because all residual classes are inverse to themselves again. 2 minus 2 is 0, but also 2 minus 2 plus a multiple of 4 is 0. And it's a monoid, because some elements in this ring of residue classes do not have a multiplicative inverse. In this case, for example, the 2. And why that is, and what groups don't have an inverse, we'll see a bit later. So a ring you sh maybe should have heard of is a polynomial ring. This is uh, all uh, polynomials with coefficients in a base ring. So if you have a ring, and the elements of those ring form coefficients of polynomials, the set of all those polynomials also actually form a ring, with the addition and multiplication laws of polynomials. There's another quite important construct called quotient ring. It's almost the same as a, as a polynomial ring, but we take all polynomials in this ring that are of this form, modulo a polynomial from within the ring. And then we work again with addition and multiplication laws of polynomials. This is somewhat similar to calculating modulo a certain number when we look at residual classes. These rings can be quite useful for cryptography. Sorry, leave that out here. Um, can be quite useful for cryptography, but they're somewhat complex and we'll look at them in more detail later.